JDBC template is a core class within Spring JDBC that simplifies making data access calls that handle resources management such as closing and creating connections. It is a lighter weight alternative to MyBetas and Hibernate, especially if you're already working within Spring context. Since it is easier to manage a list of business objects versus lower level result sets, let's find out how to map a JDBC row to a domain object. Following the Spring Boot tutorial, we will set up and download a Spring project from the Spring Initializer website. Selecting the Data checkbox will add the Spring Boot Starter JDBC artifact. Next, we will add the HyperSQL database dependency in the palm.xml. As mentioned in the tutorial how to test with a database, Spring Boot will recognize the HyperSQL database dependency classes on the class path and will auto-configure an embedded database. Using Spring SQL and SQL group annotations, we will call a script to create state table and preload the database table inserting three records. In order to map a JDBC result set, we need to create a state object with attributes of state ID as the primary key, abbreviation of the state, postal code, and the field for the state itself. Overriding the object to string will give a pretty output in our console. The class that does the heavy lifting is a state row mapper, which implements Spring's row mapper. Its primary responsibility is to map each row of the result set to the state POJO object. Since we know we will reuse it in a a couple of our examples, we will create an inner class but could have substituted with an anonymous inner class when calling JDBC template. To map a single result row to our Java object state, we will call JDBC template query for object passing in the SQL to execute and the state row mapper. Running the JUnit test, the output shows that the SQL executed and the state was logged. To map a list of records is very similar. Instead of calling JDBC template query for object, we will call the query method executing a state query that will return a list of objects in our table. It will then map each row of the state object via the state row mapper. Again, running our unit test will show that the size of the states list is 3. This tutorial shows the basics of mapping rows of a result set to a Java object using Spring's JDBC template. There is much, much more to be learned, so be sure to explore Spring's documentation. Thanks for joining in today's Level Up. Have a great day.